It's so hard to say goodbye, part 18, with a video that may transform my collection forever. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another edition of That's So Hard to Say Goodbye, a continuing video series documenting my collection. And I guess we do that kind of every single day in some ways, but today we're talking about what is leaving the collection. As we always say, we always got things coming, but sometimes you got to have some things going, and there's a lot of different reasons for that. Maybe you're just not feeling that collection anymore. Maybe you need some finance help. You need to pay a bill. You need to auto repair, something like that, or you just are totally over it and you don't want this. Get out of here, and as we do say, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. You could have some of that going on, but today we're up to video number 18, if you can believe that, and and what is leaving my collection here today? Well, this is one of the most complicated collections I have really ever had in my entire, going back to my childhood all the way till now, as I've had ebbs and flows with this toy line and this property for many, many years. Like I said, going back to my childhood. And I really do feel that they just can never get it right for what I am looking for. And there's definitely different avenues I could go to get for what I'm looking for. Obviously, that comes with a more expensive cost. Well, before we get too deep into it, what is it? What is leaving my collection today? Well, today we got to say goodbye to the Transformers. Truly more than meets the eye today on the channel here is Transformers are leaving my collection. Not all of my Transformers, but I would say a good 90%. And I have done this maybe four times in my life. Yes, you heard that right. Going all the way back to the originals. As Transformers, and specifically Hasbro, who makes the Transformers, it's just like this and like this and like this. It is a constant tidal wave to me, in my opinion. Nothing against Transformers fans. You might not feel the same way I do, but this is just my opinion on the Transformer property from Hasbro. It feels like they get rolling, they get chugging along with something I really like, a studio wave, a studio series, maybe throwbacks to cartoon looks, something like that. The scaling is in right place, and then one to two years later, uh, let's change it up, let's redo that, we're going to give some of those same characters back once again. No different than any other property, Wolverine all the time, you know, Roman Reigns all the time, things like that. It happens, I get it. But for Transformers, I want to have the same scale. And it really does feel like sometimes sometimes Optimus Prime's this tall. Sometimes he's this tall. Then he goes back to being this tall. Then he's really small. It's like they can't get a universal scale, in my opinion, for the Transformers line. And that's why I'm bailing out of this. Now, I'm going to still dabble in some Transformers. I'm still going to be buying the Dinobots. I can't wait to complete that Dinobot team. I'm going to have them on their own shelf. Uh, maybe a couple of ones from the past. I have some of the combiners uh, Omega Supreme for example some of my all-time favorites I will keep representation of them but I always have been buying Transformers and a lot of people ask the question Kyle why don't you do any Transformers content on the channel I just don't know. I, it just doesn't It doesn't feel like something I could do very well in a video. And who's to say I could do anything well, really, at the end of the day? But Transformers just doesn't seem like something I could get the message across to. And I am not going to sit here for an hour trying to transform this. I guess I can do time-lapse videos. You can see me pulling my hair out, going back to the instructions a million times, trying to figure it out. I miss the old days where, ah, instructions, you can just do this real quick. Nowadays, it is like a whole afternoon transforming some of these things. So never do videos on there. I might have done one, maybe once upon a time. Who knows? Uh, but to me, I love the cartoon Transformers. That's my cartoon. That's what I want representation from. They were doing that with the Studio 86 stuff for the most part. But some of the scaling, once again, just all over the place. So I'm going to stop collecting these Transformers. I'm going to stick with what I have. Once I get that Dinobots team complete that they're working on right now, Call it good on my Dinobots, keep some combiners, keep my Omega Supremes, my Metroplexes, uh, things like that. And I'm just going to death settles. I'm going to call it good because I got enough stuff to collect. There's no doubt about it. 
I don't need the pain of the ups and downs of Transformers on my back. So here we go. Let's dive in. What is going away? Now, I have all this stuff in the famed closet. I have a closet in my collection for long game unboxings, things I'm eventually going to get to, things I just haven't decided where I want to put them yet, and that's where this stuff has been sitting, taking up a whole uh, shelving unit for the most part. But I got old Galvatron, a childhood favorite of mine, one of my favorite Transformer toys as a little kid. We got Galvatron right here. We got another all-time favorite. I, I still like him. I know a lot of people don't. We got old Rodimus Prime right here as well. He's going to be saying goodbye to another all-time favorite of mine, Ultra Magnus. Love me some Robert Stack. Love me some Ultra Magnus right there looking really good. Let's keep on coming. Megatron Beast Mode. I got this one on clearance at Walmart just on a whim. It was like five bucks or something like that. Ridiculous price. So we got that one right there. Saying goodbye to that one. Cyclonus. Oh, I'm here for the old Cyclonus. Once again, another movie-related figure. I'm here for that. So we got Cyclonus to say goodbye to. We got old Wheeljack, and Wheeljack just feels too small here. He needs to be a little bit bigger, in my opinion. Got Wheeljack right there going away. We got a couple of little ones here. We got old Rumble. Yep, Decepticon Rumble. And we got old uh, Exosuit Spike Wittwicky. All oh, that Wittwicky boy. We got those guys. See you later. We'll miss you. Here's a big one. This, I believe, what was this? Pulse Con, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, a Hero is Born, Alpha Trion, and Orion Pax. Of course, I, Orion Pax, uh, the future uh, Optimus Prime, as we do know. His keep on coming. Old Blur. There he is. Old Blur looking good right there. Micro Machine Guy, anybody? How about Gnaw? A little Army Builder action with Gnaw going away. See you later, Gnaw. Perceptor, another all-time good one. If you're a scientist, he was your Transformer. There's no doubt about it. Got old Perceptor right there. And the hits keep on coming once again. We got Scour Scourge, Scourge, Scrouge, Scourge, Scourge right there. We got him. RC, all oh, the First Lady of the Autobots or eh, something like that. I don't know. RC right there looking good. See you later, RC. We'll miss you. One I can relate to as I get older every single year is old Cup. Cup, a favorite from the movie. Not my favorite when I was a kid, but nowadays when I watch it, absolutely love Cup. Cup, a favorite of mine. Junk Heap, of course. Uh, we always love those guys. Old Junk Heap looking good as well. And the hits keep on coming. We got another version of Gnaw right here. Gnaw on all of us. So a little army builder. Got a second Gnaw right there. And a couple other Transformers got to say goodbye to. All oh, Bumblebee, we hardly knew you. Old Bumblebee, a childhood favorite as well. And then, of course, another great one here, Cliff Jumper. Oh, Cliff Jumper. Another good one, of course, a, bun a little bit similar to Bumblebee in height and status. There you go, right there. So that is some of the Transformers. I do got a few loose ones I'll probably part with, but Transformers, I just can't get into you. I just don't know. Like I said, ebbs and flows can't get where I want it to be. And it's just time to cut bait and run away, use this for other things, invest this into other things, and just kind of admire Transformers from afar. I guess if I want to see all the Transformers, I can just take a trip up the road to good friend of the channel, Midwest professional wrestling legend Gage Octane. Transformers is his number one collection, so I can always admire it, go over to his house, do some of that kind of stuff. Maybe we'll do a, a video at Gage Octane's house one of these days. We'll see what happens there. But Transformers, like I said, you don't got to go home, but you can't stay here. I will be getting rid of these in my collection of course i'll give the patreon members first dibs on this and we'll see where it goes from there do i dump it at a toy store do i sell it on ebay i don't know i'll figure it out eventually but there it is transformers so you hard to say goodbye part 18 i never thought this day would come again and i probably said that the first four times that happened to me in my life with my transformers collection but it is what it is it is what it is so there it is Transformers, we hardly knew you. But you guys in the comments, let me know. What is leaving your collection? What are you saying goodbye to? Anything recently? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. And we got even more content for you on the old Patreon channel. Patreon, your best way to support this very YouTube channel and all the shenanigans it does bring. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for that, so hard to say goodbye. Part 18, the Transformers edition. I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.